Okay, in this first step, what we're going to do is get Unreal Engine open and create a project. So the first thing we need to do is find the Epic Games Launcher, which lives here. So you can see it says Epic Games Launcher. We'll give that a double click and hopefully, hey, there we go. So it opens up and it will most likely need you to log in. Once you've logged in, you'll be greeted with this screen here, which is the splash screen, but we are mostly interested in launching the engine. So you can launch the engine from this big green button here. Um, you can use this drop down to launch different versions of the engine if you've got more than one installed. Or if you've already got projects, you can click on your library tab and you can see there are certain projects here that I've been playing with in the past. There's some stuff that I've downloaded uh, from the Unreal Store, uh, the Unreal community, just to check out so I can have a look at how they've been built. But all we really need to do for this step is to get the engine open. So you click on the launch button and that will open the engine that you have installed. Okay, once it finishes loading up, you'll be greeted with this tab, which is your projects tab. And again, if you've already got projects that you've been working on, you will be able to reopen them from here. But for what we're doing in this tutorial series, we need to create a new project. So we'll go over to the new project tab. Okay, you've got two choices, either Blueprint or C++. Blueprint is Unreal's visual scripting language, which is amazing and I kind of love a little bit. Uh, C++ is your old school proper coding um, and a lot of people will tell you that you need to be able to do C++ to create a game. I don't think I necessarily agree with that, uh, but I suppose if you're doing a large game it might be preferable to do C++. Anyways, we're choosing Blueprint because at some point we're going to throw some Blueprints in here. Um, and then you need to choose a, a template. So you can start with blank. And that starts with no blueprints uh, to give you any kind of character control or anything. There's not a lot in there. And then you've got some presets such as first person, flying game, puzzle game, twin stick shooter, etc. Uh, for the level that we're going to be creating in this series, we're going to choose the first person template. To be fair, if you want to, you could choose the third person template as well, which will work just as well. Uh, but I prefer the, the first person one. Okay, and then we need to choose some settings. And actually, these are all set at what I would like them to be. But you do have some options. So this first one is desktop or console, which is kind of your highest quality. But you can also choose mobile and tablet if you're aiming for that platform. You also have the option of um, the graphical quality. So you can go for just high end. Or you can have a scalable 3D or 2D, which allows um, scaling between different levels of quality. But we're going to leave this on maximum quality just for the sake of simplicity. Uh, and finally, you can choose to create your project with or without starter content. Uh, starter content is a few bits and bobs included with your project, like some simple geometry, some simple materials, just to get you going. So you might want to just quickly design the level using the kind of starter content that, that comes with it. Uh, but we're not going to use much of it, but we do want it to be there. So we'll leave start content on. Okay, the next thing we need to do is make sure that we give our project a name. So I'm going to call mine UE4 for beginners. And then you need to choose somewhere to save it to. I'm saving mine to my Google Drive folder so that I can share it with my patrons. So through the link on Patreon, you'll be able to get access to any uh, levels I create for this series, any of the assets I import. So I'll be importing trees and stuff down the line uh, and they'll all be available to you via that link. So that's where I'm saving mine to, but you need to click on that, choose a folder that you're going to save this project to. And once you've got all that sorted, you can click on the nice green create project button down here. While this is just starting up, it's a good idea to talk about what a project is. Um, and what a project is, is just a collection of folders. So within the folder you've chosen, um, Unreal will be creating subfolders to put all your content. So if I can just show you uh, the one that it's created for me. So here we can see Unreal Engine 4 for beginners, which is where I've saved it to. But within that, I've got my UE4 for beginners. That's my project folder. And within here, you can see I've got a config folder, a content folder, intermediate saved. And there's also this UE4 for beginners, which will launch the project if I just want to double click on that. Uh, and we'll mostly be concerned with the content folder where again, you've got lots of different things going on in there. Um, so that's what a project is. It's just a folder structure that you can put things in and Unreal will know where to look for them. So now that the engine is open, you can see that we have an example level. Uh, but what we're going to do in the next step is talk about the interface a little bit. 
So we'll talk about what all the different parts of the interface are called and what they do, and then we'll move on to some other cool stuff after that. So I hope I'll see you in the next step. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your learning further, I recommend an introduction to Unreal Engine 4 by Andrew Sanders and Unreal Engine 4 Game Development Essentials by Satish PV. Check them out using the links in the video description below. Special thanks to my awesome patrons whose names are displayed on screen for supporting this video. If you'd also like to support my channel then go to patreon.com forward slash Shane Whittington.